While some of us hate long layovers and transfers between flights, there's also the stressful experience of having a tight connection with the risk of missing the next flight. The reality is, however well passengers might plan a connection, unforeseen delays can scupper these at a moment's notice. But can airlines help delayed passengers in these situations by holding their connecting flights? When lots of passengers are connecting from a delayed service onto the same onward flight, it makes sense for an airline to hold the connection. This has even been known to happen with trains, such as on Germany's Deutsche Bahn. While it might be easy to accommodate a handful of delayed passengers on the next flight, finding space for a large number can prove more difficult. This would be a particularly pressing matter on low-frequency routes. Indeed, in instances when a flight only operates on a once-daily basis, an airline might also have to pay for hotel accommodation for the delayed and frustrated passengers. As such, slightly delaying the connecting flight to accommodate them represents a more pleasant reality for everyone involved. Well, except perhaps for the other passengers who boarded the flight at the scheduled time. According to Heels First Travel, there is also a higher chance of an airline holding a connecting flight if it's an aircraft's last sector of that day. Earlier in the day, airlines might be more hesitant to do so as it would cause knock-on delays for the rest of that plane's schedule. However, when it is its last working sector, the effects of a delayed arrival will be comparatively minimal. Furthermore, it saves delayed passengers having to wait until the next day to travel onward. It would certainly make for an ideal reality if airlines were always able to hold connecting flights. However, there are several reasons why there are instances in which this does not occur. For example, it might be less likely that an airline will hold a connecting flight on a high-frequency route. This is because passengers can often easily be transferred onto the next flight with minimal delay in these situations. London to Frankfurt, New York to Los Angeles, Kuala Lumpur to Singapore, and many, many more routes would be examples where this is the case, well, at least in normal times. A high service frequency is just one of several reasons why an airline might not hold a connecting flight. Another example is the flight crew's allotted hours. Pilots' and cabin crews' time at work is strictly regulated to minimize fatigue and ensure safety. As such, a flight may not be held for delayed connecting passengers if a delay would push employees too close to their hours limit. Of course, there's not just the initial delay to consider. Even once late connecting passengers are on board, if a flight has missed its departure slot, waiting for another one might cause further knock-on impacts. This makes the practice of holding a connecting flight a potentially complicated practice which requires the airline to consider numerous factors and their effect on subsequent operations. Have you ever had your connecting flight held for you? Have you ever missed a connecting flight? Share your travel experiences with us by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.